Hello, Bethlehem Marion School District Industrial Arts. It's Mr. Goff. I'm going to continue my how-to series with Tinkercad. Um, this is going to be the first uh, how-to series that I'm going to be doing other than the logging in where we're actually using the program. So pay attention to how I navigate my screens going from my home screen right here into a design and then back out. Um, I'm also going to be showing you in this first video how to change your snap grid. Um, you don't might not understand what that is. I'm going to explain that a little further once we get into the program. And I'm also going to show you how to change, okay, how to change to inches so you're not working in millimeters. A lot of our students get a little bit confused going uh, working in millimeters, even though we teach you guys how to read that ruler in inches. So just pay attention, show you guys a couple small little tricks. This will only be about a three or four minute video, and then uh, hopefully it'll answer any questions you guys have. So again, just like I explained previously, right here we're going to create a new design. It's going to open up exactly what you were using when you were doing those starter lessons. First thing that I always like to do is I come up to the top left-hand corner of my screen here. It says change name. This is the file name of what you are working on. I know these are entertaining. Um, they're cute sometimes but they're not practical. So I always like to change that. For this, I'll just Mr. Golf example. Okay, um, change that to whatever you would like. You can change it to what you're working on, change it to your name. Um, if you ever wanted your teachers to print something for you, uh, the way it is over at Northeast, I actually have to search for your design. So when you guys make these crazy out there, super long, uh, design names it makes it difficult for us to find them so make it practical you can put your class tag whatever you want to do with it um, just so that it's easy to find once you have that selected we're going to do two things we're going to come down now to the opposite corner caddy corner okay where it says edit grid okay and you're going to click on edit grid it's going to pop up grid properties you will see units Okay, we want to change our units to inches. Now that we are in inches, presets default. Okay, leave that alone. That's your workspace. Seven by seven is a very large work area. Okay, most of our 3D printers at Bethlehem Mary School District will, won't print seven by seven, but we're just gonna leave that for now since we're just getting used to using this program. And you're gonna click update grid. So, so far we've changed the name of our program and we've updated our grid to inches. The last thing I wanna show you guys in this video is right underneath that edit grid, okay? It says snap grid. What snap grid means, guys, is when you take an object, so Mr. Golf selects this box and drags it onto his workspace, okay? I can move this object, as you should know from doing your starter lessons, okay, with my arrow keys, right as well as clicking on it and dragging it with my mouse okay every single time if i'm moving this object with my keys every time i press that over it's moving it our snap grid length so that means when i press over to the right it's moving that block an eighth of an inch okay an eighth of an inch in design is very 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 large okay that's a big space if you were trying to center something you may not be able to because that space is so large so what we're going to be doing is we're going to change our snap grid to a sixteenth of an inch this is what we teach you guys to read on a ruler it's what we need to be accurate with in industrial arts for woodworking or for tinkercad okay so we're going to change that to a sixteenth of an inch now my block is moving a much smaller distance. Again, guys, all this uh, video was for was to show you how to rename your files, all right? Show you how to change your grid, edit your grid into inches, and change that snap grid down at the bottom. Now, you might be wondering, how do we save our work? Tinkercad automatically saves your work for you. When you are finished, if you're nervous about that, you can click on that Tinkercad logo. This is also like your return button that's gonna take you back to your home screen. So I click on that and you will see me return 
to my dashboard or my home screen, and then you'll be able to see Mr. Golf's example that was just created right under my designs. Hopefully this answered any questions you guys had. Hopefully it was helpful. Stay safe, and hopefully you guys are having a little bit of fun out there. Bye-bye.